Live events are back at Bell Works in Homedell. The Axelrod Contemporary Ballet Theater with guest dancers from New York are presenting Three's a Crowd all weekend. Performances run tonight through Sunday. Tickets are available online starting at $40. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Post-pandemic, New Jersey's museums are opening now. One museum in particular decided to reopen on Juneteenth. Jersey Matters' Phil Andrews takes us now to the Harriet Tubman Museum in Cape May. Phil. Well, as you know, Larry, there is talk of replacing Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill with the likeness of Harriet Tubman. Tubman, of course, responsible for freeing African Americans from slavery during the Civil War. And now here in Cape May, they have a museum to honor that freedom fighter. Located just a stone's throw from the corner of Franklin and Lafayette Street, the Harriet Tubman Museum was supposed to open June 19th of 2020, but COVID-19 put a hold on those plans. COVID, however, did not stop them from celebrating a grand opening with Governor Phil Murphy on hand for the ribbon cutting. Everyone who worked to make this museum a reality, to the museum board and staff, to the Macedonia Baptist Church, to all the financial and spiritual supporters and friends, I say thank you. Congratulations again. This is an extraordinary day. This is a welcome and wonderful addition to our state's cultural and historical landscape. Of course, there are some who question what exactly is Harriet Tubman's connection to Cape May? The connection uh, with Harriet Tubman and Cape May is Harriet Tubman's time that she spent uh, freeing slaves included some time in Philadelphia. During that time in Philadelphia, she was able to connect with others who came to Cape May to work jobs, to earn money, and with that money that she earned during the two summers or more that she spent in Cape May, she used it to finance her trips and to take slaves to freedom. Now, this ceremony was part of the museum's formal opening to the public on June 19th of this year, or as many of us have come to know it, Juneteenth, marking the day in 1865 when over 250,000 black Americans enslaved in Texas were told that slavery had been abolished following the conclusion of the Civil War, some two and a half years after Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation ended slavery. There are many um, wonderful exhibits, historical exhibits in the Harriet Tubman Museum, um, some that connect to Harriet Tubman, uh, some that connect to the story of slavery and uh, slavery's um, evolution in New Jersey. Uh, we also have a whole section that speaks to the abolitionist in Cape May, Stephen Smith, uh, whose house is right across the street from the Harriet Tubman Museum. We have videos. We have the video of William Still, who talks about in his book, The Underground Railroad, the role of Cape May, and how many slaves crossed the Delaware Bay to get to Cape May. And then in Cape May, they either stayed with uh, landowners in Lower Township and or people in Cape May who hid them and got them up to Philadelphia, from Philadelphia moving on to different directions to freedom. Now, if you're interested in coming down and visiting the museum, it's open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 to 5, and then again on Sunday from 2 to 5. Admission, $10 for adults and uh, $5 for the little folk. Hey, come on down. You just might learn a little something. In Cape May for Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews.